In this video, we take you to some Thousand Trails RV camping near Top Sail Island in North Carolina. Let's get to it. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. For this portion of the video, I'll be using Google Maps. This is my personal camping map, and what I'm going to do is zoom in on the Top Sail Island, North Carolina area. And recently, not so long ago, Thousand Trails added two new um, RV parks to the Trails Collection under the Thousand Trails umbrella. And those two parks are right here. just off of Top Sail Island in North Carolina. Melody and I are currently staying at Top Sail Sound RV Park uh, during the recording of this video. And so we're going to give you a walking tour of Top Sail Sound RV Park in this video. But the reason I'm doing this little intro is this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we took a, a drive out to Harbor Point RV Community, and wow, we, we really liked that um, Thousand Trails affiliated RV park. Uh, so this is, this is, I'm doing this little intro so you can get a feel for how this video is going to flow, because it is going to be different from some of our other videos. So we, we start the video out here at um, a Top Sail Sound RV Park. That's where we're currently camping. And then we take you uh, down here. There is access, Morris Landing. So it's, I mean, it's right down the road from where we're currently camped. We take you out here and we show you the access to the intercoastal waterway. And then we take you over here to Harbor Point RV Community. And we show you some short video clips there. Um, and uh, we tell you what we like about that uh, Thousand Trails affiliated RV park. And then uh, we take you over across this Highway 210 onto Top Sail Island. Now, uh, not so far away from um, Harbor Point, right in this area, you'll find um, a CVS, um, uh, uh, you, you can get fuel there, there's a Dollar General, uh, there's a Food Lion, so less than five minutes away from Harbor Point, you have access to all those amenities. And then uh, the, the bridge is also like five minutes away from Harbor Point, and then you're on Top Sail Island. And we take you down to a beach access point. Okay, folks, I had to jump the satellite view to show you what I wanted to show you. So you cross Highway 210 over onto Top Sail Island, and you come down here to this public beach access. This is a county park, public beach access number two. And uh, uh, it's a wonderful beach. There's free parking there. Um, there's a snack bar, plenty of parking, uh, they have outside showers, they have restrooms, and Melody and I, I did a beach walk there, and Melody sat back near the snack bar and just took in the sights, but we show you some video and some uh, photographs from our beach walk, um, and then we take it down to Surf City, and we show you some footage that we took on the pier down there. Now, a lot of the parking in Surf City is uh, paid parking. It's like $5 an hour. So this is why I'm pointing out this free beach access up here. And it, uh, it was a better beach than what was down in Surf City. But they do have a fishing pier down in Surf City. And if uh, you, can, you can go out there and fish on the pier, you know, you pay, I think it's a $10 uh, pier fee. And, uh, you, by the way, you do get free parking if you're going to fish off the pier. You pay the $10 fee. It's, it's good for 24 hours, and then you can uh, uh, 
park in the parking lot that's owned by the pier. And I believe they have three different parking lots. So that's not such a bad deal, but the parking down there at $5 an hour is, uh, is, is not cool. So um, the, that's the flow of the video. We're going to start out. We're going to give you the tour where we're currently camped. We're going to take you to the um, Harbor Point RV community, which we really liked. And then uh, we take you across this bridge on the Top Sail Island. Uh, we take you to that public beach access with the free parking. And we finish up with uh, uh, taking you to the pier at Surf City. And then Melody will close the video uh, back where we're currently camped. So with that, let's get to it. We have arrived at Top Sail Sound RV Park in Holly Ridge, North Carolina. Let us show you around. Behind me back there is the Intercoastal Waterway and we will take you there later in the video. When you arrive, um, the gate will go up, at least it did for us, they must have saw us coming in. After that you'll need a um, key code to get into the gate. You'll go into the office and you'll pick up your, the map and your site assignment. In front of me is the office. They have a really nice seating area there too. You can see the pool in the background. During our stay in April of 2023, it was not open. They do have a laundry room and we will show you the video of that. And the, um, the restrooms are here. Let me tell you, they are some of the cleanest we have ever seen. Above the office, you're going to found, find the lounge, and we will take you up there, too. We are standing upstairs outside the lounge area. Below us is the, um, the office, as well as the laundry room and the restrooms. The restrooms are the cleanest we have ever seen. There is some seating down there as well. Below me, you're going to see the pool, and they also have seating up here. Um, let's go take a look at the lounge, though. Okay, let's go check out the lounge in here. Oh my goodness. This place is huge. Let's take a walk around and see what all they have. They have a little kids corner here with lots of books. Big screen TV, all kinds of seating. And take a look at all those books over there. They also have um, restrooms here, as well as a kitchen. Wow. They have a mini foosball table, if you're into foosball. In my younger years, a friend of mine, Robin, and I used to play all the time. and. Um, the guys would get mad at us because we always beat them. It also looks like they have either an organ or a piano over here too. They have everything and anything you could ever want if you're if you're if you like to read i mean this is just this wall right here is covered with books so barb from hedish world if you come here you could do one of your grandma barb reads um sessions from here because they have a huge selection of kitty books over there oh well okay i'm sleeping here tonight this is so comfortable I can't begin to tell you how comfortable this is. You could get lost in your, your dreams here, in your, in your mind. There's also a TV over there and um, one right in front of me. It looks like they have um, a DVD player or the old, what are the old, VHS tapes too.
this is probably one of the best lounges we have been in. I mean, it's, it's huge. It is really, really nice in here. Over to my left is a basketball court. Behind me is a covered shelter and they do have a gas grill there. Um, there is also a community fire pit. So let's walk over there and take a look at the fire pit. the fire pit and it is rather large so if um, you want to have a fire in the evening with some of your friends this would be the place to come they do have some swings here for the kids and to my right is a um, volleyball net if you want to pay, play some beach volleyball they also have horseshoes for you to play here at the um, park I just have to tell you all that this is one of the cleanest well-cut parks we have been in. We're going to take you over and show you some of the transient sites and they are pull throughs which makes it nice. Over behind me is some of the pull through sites. Now they do assign sites here. Um, we will show you the site that we were given. Technically it would be a back end, but because where it's located, they let us pull right through. And we will show you that here in a few minutes. Behind me is the doggy park and Lou is going to throw up some video that he took of him and Milo playing ball. Milo, you want to play some ball? Let's play ball. One, two, three. All right, Milo. Bring daddy ball. <laughs> you ready? One more time. One, two, three. Good boy, Milo. So just down the road from Top Sail Sound RV Park is access to the Intercoastal Waterway. And there's a nice little walkway that takes you out. Gives you a little observation platform out here. This is called Morse Landing. And it's pretty. I did lock the car. Thank you. Well, it's a truck, but still. 
Did you lock the truck? <laughs> yes, I locked the truck. <laughs> Call my Dodge Ram a car. <laughs> oh, look at all the crabs. are all over the place. I used to remember what those were called, the type of crab, but I forget. Somebody will know. They'll tell me. My YouTubers are on top of it. Okay. This is pretty. You know what? It looks like they filleted them. Oh. Like oh. Them. Yeah, somebody. Oh yeah, somebody filleted them and just left them there. Wow, that ain't cool. Well, Harbor Point RV Resort. Harbor Point RV Community has uh, access to the intercoastal and this boardwalk uh, is right within the RV community. It's part of the trails collection under the Thousand Trails umbrella. So this is definitely uh, staying on our camping map. Melody and I will have to book a stay here. This is pretty darn cool. buddy going on my campy map with a big old star so yeah there's the access to the intercoastal and uh bet you didn't think you were gonna get a two for one video here did you not really uh i'm just gonna show you what some of the campsites look like up here so the intercoastal was down that way. And they have this nice little paved walking trail that leads up behind some of the RV sites and it'll end up taking us to where the pool is. So here's the activity area, pool. Okay, does not look like they have a hot tub. We're gonna check in the uh, activity area and see if they have a hot tub. So I just verify with that gentleman, there is no hot tub uh, here at Harbor Point. You got a little place for a campfire there and this takes you back out. But uh, we'll show you a few of the RV, looks like transit RV sites on the way out. So this is an expansive park. They have lots of uh, RV sites here. Um, we walk down another street. There's similar sites like this, but uh, they're full hookup sites, 30, 50 amp. Um, you can get any size rig in these sites. But yeah, Melody and I definitely will come back here to camp harbor point folks an unexpected treasure during our little exploration of the area while we're staying in our current campground top sail rv park is nice but uh, if i had to rank them i think i would rank this one above where we're currently staying harbor point RV community. 
So these people were really nice in here. The office is just across this bridge. They let us do a walkthrough. This is Harbor Point RV Community, where we're currently staying. Is Top Sail Sound RV Park. We like them both, but I would rank this one above um, where we're currently staying. Definitely going to come back here and stay. Well, folks, this Harbor Point RV community is part of the Trails Collection under the Thousand Trails umbrella. Melody and I actually prefer uh, this RV park over Top Cell Sound, uh, where we're currently uh, camped at. So uh, we're definitely going to make arrangements uh, next time through the area to stay at uh, Harbor Point. And right now, there is a bridge uh, that will take us over to Topsail Island. It's a different bridge than what we uh, accessed earlier in the week to get to Surf City. But it's all part of the same island. So we can access uh, Topsail Island from a bridge that will take you over the intercoastal right here near um, Harbor Point. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop back in the truck, take you to Surf City and Topsail Island. We're going to show you some video and some clips from there, and uh, then we'll come back and close out the video for Topsail Sound RV Park. So five minutes from Harbor Point RV Community, where we just left, um, we found a gas station, um, a food lion, CVS, Dollar General, you have all that within five minutes of that uh, RV park. Right now we're on Florida Highway 210. This is going to take us over to Topsail Island. And uh, we're crossing the Intercoastal Water Railway now. We should have a good view when we hit the top of this bridge. Well, this right here is an awesome beach access point. There's free parking here on Topsail Island. Beach access number two, Onslow County. There's a snack bar in there. They got a place to wash your feet off and the beach is way to see this beach. So it looks like I'm gonna get my beach walk in. Yeah, this is a pretty nice beach access point. Freak parking to boot. Let's go out here and get my toes wet. Oh, this feels good on the feet, folks. Woo! So Melody is sitting on a bench back there at the snack bar. I got a nice little perch there where she can watch the ocean. She likes to watch the ocean. She likes the ocean, but she doesn't like the sand. And I love walking on the beach in ankle deep water. I can't think of a better way to close out our 2022, 2023 snowbird season and to take a walk on the beach. Pretty nice looking beach. Got some pools. See up there where the kids are playing, there's some nice little pools in the beach where the kids are just playing with their toys.
What a beautiful day. This is gorgeous, folks. So Melody and I just arrived in Surf City. We're right here. This is the public parking area. Uh, you do have to pay. It's $5 an hour. And you pay online. But uh, we're right across from the Surf City Pier. I'm wondering if you can fish out here for a fee. I do have my pole, poles in the RV. Let's go check the pier out. Stay right there. So it does look like you can uh, go out here and fish, you know, even if you don't have a North Carolina fishing license. It looks like the fee is $10. Okay, so there was a sign there. And, uh, but there was also a lady standing there and she said, go in here and talk to B. So we're gonna go talk to B. Okay, so we talked to B in there. She was real nice. Uh, so this is the deal. It's uh, one dollar to take a walk out on the pier here and just uh, observe. And that's what we're doing right now. But uh, if I come back with a, a pole, uh, I can fish out here for ten dollars and for a twenty-four hour period. So not bad. And you don't need a fishing license your fee to go out on the pier um, covers your your uh, license to fish off the pier this is pretty there's back at the surf city pier entrance not a real wide beach Hey, it's our first time here. There are a good many surfers out there, for sure. So I might do that. We're here for six overnights in the local area. I may uh, come down here and fish. Oh, and uh, this is important. That ten dollar uh, fee covers your parking. So right now I'm paying five dollars an hour. Uh, if I park in the pier parking lot, they have three different lots. Um, as long as you pay to go out on the pier, you can park there for free. So that that's a deal. Can't get over the number of uh, people on surfboards out there. That's just really something. Quite a few of them out there. To the right of me is they have boat storage here. In fact, somebody was pulling their boat out this morning and we're gonna walk down this way and show you our site right now. So come with me.
This is our site and it is a 50 amp full hookup. Well, we are back at our site and look who I found. He was so happy to see us, like we were gone forever. I forgot to mention that the, uh, we also have cable here. We took a couple of day trips down to Surf City Beach and Lou is going to throw up some images for you to see. Would we stay here again? Absolutely. This place is so quiet, at least during our stay of April 2023 here. Um, but the place is immaculate. We've had a great time. On your way to um, Surf City, there are, there's a Publix, a Walmart, a Food Lion, anything and everything you can find as far as eats, uh, several gas stations, um, you name it, it's here. So as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and we will see you down the road.